So my name is Allison Hetty. I'm an artist. I was a student of Professor Myers, um, and I want to use her Iowa foil printer, which is a piece of equipment that she designed and developed over. Oh my goodness, I think it was about 20 years before it was finalized in design and this is an older model but it is highly functional and what it does is it lets an individual use um, foil like you see on commercial and industrial printing um, at lower temperatures and lower pressures so they're okay for the individual person to control to make art. Um, we are also currently making keepsakes for the Nexus open house. These are Herkies done um, in gold and holographic gold. And uh, these images are just <coughs> being stamped. It's a printmaking process, so I'm essentially doing kind of a very uh, freehand edition of the Herkies. And this is their initial starting point. This is an image that's been prepared with copier toner. The copier toner is an acrylic compound and the foils are designed to adhere to acrylics of all different stripes, um, including like acrylic sheets, such that you could put in a laser printer, etc. I'm sorry, a, a laser cutter. Um, and so with this project, we're going to stamp these. And these are the two foils we're gonna stamp this with. These are the ones that I've already stamped, and um, once that happens, this is essentially a ghost image, which is a term from printmaking. Um, this will adhere to these black blank sheets of copier toner printed paper, and will create the final image. So foil um, prints via three characteristics, um, heat, pressure, and dwell. And the hot plate here, this large aluminum surface, and the roller, which is right here, are both heated. Um, the Iowa foil printer is really um, very efficient and effective at establishing and maintaining uh, temperature, including over the large flat surface. And so they're both about 200 degrees. I think the hot plate is about 225, and the roller is about 215. So they are quite warm. Uh, but industrial foil printing um, prints at much higher temperatures that would be dangerous, not just uncomfortable. And so what happens is where this foil ends, that'll serve as um, the break <coughs> for the holographic gold. And then you have to let it cool. Um, the acrylic will both contract, but the foil is actually a multi-layer uh, product, even though it looks really skinny. And it has an adhesive coat inside it, which needs to cool uh, to have clean release. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna line up the corners fairly accurately from the foil that's gold onto the black image. And that way the image will appear at essentially the same place as it was originating on the other sheet. In printmaking, you use registration guides to make sure that you can addition accurately. And I take a wide variety of forms, and the corner matchup is sort of a very primitive um, registration guide. Mm -hmm. And that way, when I go to cut these up, um, they should be pretty close to centered, which will make cutting them more quick and easy. So this is the carrier layer of foil. Um, and that's it. That's that product. We've got another keepsake that we're going to do.